Bom, pessoal. A gente vai fazer a parte do Frozen Wilderness. Frozen Wilds. Pra gente já se ambientar pro próximo Horizon Forbidden West. E eu não lembro absolutamente nada do game. Nem os comandos. Esse aqui bate, esse aqui bate forte. Apenas isso. O Shaman nos abandonou. Nosso chefe nos levou a nossa melhor para a morte. Onde nós poderíamos encontrar hoje? O fogo da montanha é pior hoje. Bad omen for the ritual. How are we to trust the chieftain after so many died under his command? Trust that our hunters knew this. In times like these, we must not forget the importance of ceremony. Ray has been gone a long time, but she will return. I must believe she will return. Should have brought a cart. going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. The smoke from the mountain is worse today. A bad omen for the ritual. Caralho, o Ross sai empurrando, mano. You ready for a rare sight, Nora? Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Caralho, Tribata Maia. Era aquela porra que o cara tava, tava tocando, né? O berrante do Bolsomito. Your grief, my hunters, and kill it. For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. 
But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the demon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. God. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Hmm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. <laughs> no idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. Vamos lá. Ara, a, Aratak. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot stretching all the way back to the claim. Then. He goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. 
Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk can tell me more about Araya, Thunder's drum. Might be worth a shot. The cut has no patience for arrogant hunters. Tem que falar com o Arataki. Será que ele vende alguma coisa ou não? For you, I'll give it twice. But next time, I'll start charging. What are these Werics about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some werics come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest werics. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each werick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed. And the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah. I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Us? We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and... Is that we? We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. Isso aqui, é, isso aqui é RP, cara. Isso aqui é, esse cara aqui é outra pessoa. Esse cara é outra pessoa. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to... Bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. There are other Werax in Song's Edge too? Yes, the village has its own life for all the who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite. Quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Orea knows about this Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. 
God, I feel up with. I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. I've never seen a machine as large as that tall neck frozen like that. And I've been in some kind of places. Procure an auto. Tall neck sealed in ice and isolated from the blue light. Who led us through the frozen wastes? We also remember the ravenous tribe. Who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones? Everywhere Banukai and her Warak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she dreamt of light. She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same blue light. Cara, a aquarela do Brasil. Wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with a... Help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Segredo compartilhado. Outlanders. Carja Outlanders. What brings you Carja so far from your home? There's good machine hunting in the cut. Danger too. Some have a taste for both. And they pay people like me well to guide them. We've had a bad run this time, even after I brought this priest along to read the signs. I did say the sun's light was cast quite red the night of the... Not your concern, though, Huntress. May your arrows find their mark. We're letting the Asuram decide what to the do. The sun with shines him? on those who mind their own. Tried to kill so our sun king. Pô, tinha que ter uma parada que desse para para tirar o brilho da armadura, né? Porque o capacete tem como tirar dela. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. 
They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empowered the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started, with my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for a lot of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Tá, me fala aí, galera, como é que eu troco de. Dá o crédito pro Nick, pega a armadura. Dá o crédito pro Nick, pega a armadura. Acho que dá, né? Fala que vai ser o. O maluco vai se dar bem aqui. Naruto que vai ver ela trocando de roupa, né? Naruto que vai ver ela trocando de roupa. Vamos lá. Conserta e conserta de resistência a choque para máquinas do X. Atordoa máquinas de convertir. É, mas eu não lembro mais como é que lê aquilo ali. Caralho, me deu uma só. Ah, dá pra converter mesmo. Caralho, caí. Can't be too prepared. Pô, você é um inútil, hein, cara? Você não se mexeu. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Caralho, um porco. O que é essa? You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path. A crystal 
that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find oh, this right. shaman's path. Maluco foi embora. Caralho, eu vou te falar, o, o, o novo vai ser foda, hein, cara. Vai ser pique, hein. Tá cheio de frio, a Rost. Caraca, esse jogo aqui perdeu o GOT pro Zelda, não foi? Não foi isso. <risos> Caralho. O cara não tem vergonha não, né? Porra, a Zelda não tem nem textura, cara. Ah, não. É pica, mas não é igual isso aqui, não. Pô, o Zelda você fica correndo atrás daquelas porrinhas lá e não acha nada. Não tem nada. Você fica... Tem Shire o jogo inteiro. Shire, 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 Shire. Ah, Ross. A Ross não fica mostrando o corpo assim, não. I'll tuck that away. Eu achei que faltou nesse jogo uma companhia para Ross, né? Ela é muito solitária, né? Só tem aquele The Darkness lá que é mó idiota. Sai, cara, porra, filha da puta. Tentando se aproveitar da Rust. Terrorismo em Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. It ain't, it ain't living in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Rolling like a set of a lead Terrorismo em Beverly Roda da vida por trás dos ataques terroristas da Califórnia Beverly Hills, Califórnia 14 de março de 2044 em uma declaração divulgada ontem, o grupo radical Roda da Vida se responsabilizou pelo ataque terrorista da semana passada que provocou medo e insegurança em todo o condado de Los Angeles. 
Três homens bombas detonaram explosivos letais no centro de Juventas. Uma clínica de luxo voltada a terapia de regeneração e prolongação da vida. Além de matar cinco funcionários, o ataque vitimou o bilionário Aubrey Hopkins, fundador da pesquisa sobre salamandras que ocasionou os primeiros tratamentos de prolongação bem-sucedidos. O próprio Hopkins fazia experimentos com tratamentos desde a fase inicial do projeto. Por conta do alto custo desses tratamentos, só a parcela mais rica do mundo tem conseguido pagar por eles. Tal exclusividade já acarretou em grande polêmica e incita reações agressivas e extremas como esta executada pela Roda da Vida. A velhice e a morte brotam do rio de renovação que nos torna humanos. Estender a vida e a juventude com medidas artificiais degenera nossa natureza essencial e corrompe a alma. Os que faleceram ontem deram a vida para diminuir o abismo que separa os ricos dos pobres dizia parte da declaração. Já se suspeitava que o grupo era responsável pelo ataque, pois várias testemunhas relataram gritos de arquivo corrompido. Porra, o Microsoft, você não conhece a história do game, não, Microsoft? Meu Deus, Microsoft. Isso aqui era Beverly Hills, cara. Stocking up. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path?
caralho. Vai me dedurar. E eu preciso enfrentar ele, né? Troca de roupa aí na moita, Rust. Meltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. Caralho, Anita, mano. Strange equipment. What was this place? Pô, é muito maneiro que ela fica comentando as coisas, né? Curiosa e tal. É muito maneiro isso. Resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Direct 
director of security, Blevins, is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Ouvi dizer que tem gente na equipe com dificuldades quanto ao acesso orbicular luminoso da porta. Essa tecnologia ultramoderna, ultra segura e ultra necessária. Então ela vai a versão leiga de novo. Aquela coisinha é meio... Ah, isso aqui é besteira, né? Os nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? A escalada dela é muito bem feita, né, cara? Fresh air ahead. Get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Tinha visto.
É, na Sony todos os bonecos escala, né? Foda. Só pode escalar assim como eu sou um Assassin's Creed, né? Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Ontem a popularidade ficou boa na, no filme, não? I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Mulher tá louca. Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds. Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Whisper is all I ask. Guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Agora ficou cheio de medo, olha aí. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. 
He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light, yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things that long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are... Cada um acha uma coisa das máquinas, né? Cada tribo acha uma coisa. Soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. <sighs> she told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone. 
replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! <laughs> There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. <sighs> if you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful.